On Wednesday, January 16, 2019, the Okene local government area of Kogi State witnessed what would go down in the annals of the council area as the mother of all rallies, as the All Progressive Congress APC flagged off a campaign for its Kogi Central Senatorial District candidate, Dr. Yakubo Oseni, at Irvichekba Agasa. The Mammont crowd came with only one mission, to join hands with the man popularly called Chairman in his bid for a seat in the highest legislative chamber in the country. This is a result of a clear knowledge of Oseni's capacity to navigate complex challenges with amazing ease, as well as his proven ability to multitask at a fast pace. Not surprising, it is not too difficult to persuade him to join forces with his political mentor, Governor Yahaya Adoza Bello, and seek a Senate seat on APC's platform. And here we are gathered in Agasa, obtaining local government to commission several projects that distinguished Senator Yakub Hosseini have been able to bring to bear across the Central. As his leader, it is a thing of joy for me and a proud and a pride to know that the choices we made in 2019 is added value to the people of Kogin Central, especially in the education sector. I will only conclude by saying that we will continue to ensuring that valuable representation are presented across boards in all elections. Distinguished Senator Yakub Wazeni was new in the Senate in June, especially June 2019. That was the day he was sworn in as a senator. But before he was elected into the Senate, he had gathered a lot of experience that he has brought to bear in our activities in the Senate today. It's not a surprise, therefore, that he's chairing our committee on ICT and cyber crimes. One man that has distinguished himself as a team player is this distinguished senator. Able to mix, able to work, able to ensure that the activities of the nine Senate never stop as far as he was concerned and involved. On September 2018 to February 2019, Dr. Oseni and his political leader embarked on massive and aggressive campaigns passing through towns and villages as they moved through the length and breadth of the senatorial district to the doorsteps of the people with a message of his intention to make Ogi Central get its rightful place at the national level. <laughs> At all words and units within Okene, Adavi, Okehi, Adelkata, Ogorimagongo, people guarded with hope and staggering optimism. They called it a historic occasion and a prelude to an inevitable change in their circumstances. When you look at the Adelkata State uh, Complex, we are working holistically to make sure that Ajakuta comes to see the light of the day. Uh, in Nigeria, we are talking of uh, diversification of the economy, moving from mono economy to uh, to diversified uh, economy. And um, we see that Ajakuta Steel Company is one of the most important way of diversifying the economy. And uh, to do that, and you can see now that uh, the executive, that is the presidency, has set up the committee to actualize that. And uh, you can't do that without 
and university supporting it because you need to have a kind of specialized training that will feed the complex and uh, if that is the case we don't need much lobby to make sure that uh, the Ajakuta University still university comes to see the light of the day and we equally have some facilities on ground to kickstart the universities you know in most cases what normally draw back some project like that is uh, funding and that in this one we don't need much uh, take off uh, funding so there is existing institution in that place that can kickstart the university then they can start building on uh, on the existing uh, infrastructures so it is nigerian project it's not my project if nigeria believe that ajakuta can add value to our economy i don't need to lobby anybody for us to see that we need all this to make sure that ajakuta steel company is uh, up and running well with good manpower required you see sometimes we believe much in expatriates importing uh, 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 directors importing uh, skilled uh, workers importing professionals that is what we are trying to reduce by establishing the university if we establish the universities the university will be feeding the company with expatriate with with, sorry, with uh, experts and the professionals so that is the essence of it and it will see the light of the day by god grace i want to see in an industrialized nation that is what i am interested in i am not a part i'm not just a local person that wants to say uh, 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 uh is working let my people say it is me no i want nigeria to be industrialized to compete with developed nations and if that happened it's a credit to everybody credit to executives credit to legislators that's all so i personally recognize everybody's effort because it is not a one-man show it's everybody's effort and i will work i will equally want to use this opportunity to commend the sole administrator administrator of ajakuta city complex which is in person of uh, uh, akaba he's doing well and uh, i commend him he's not on social media he's doing his job and he's doing well and i want to urge him to continue to the good job he's doing so in summary we want to see a Jakuta state complex company working for Nigeria, working for Kogi State, working for Kogi Central, where it is being located. That is my interest. Mine is a senator with difference, and I still believe and I still pray that whoever that is coming after me should equally be a senator with difference. I'm not saying this to slight anybody, no because we pray that whoever that succeeds us should do more than we do because we have the interest of our people at heart not our personal self we have to serve our people and we will serve them well we will serve them to their satisfaction not surprising yakubo seni defeated his closest rival barrister natasha Akboti of the Social Democratic Party SDP with some 6,120 votes to 48,336 votes. And on June 11, 2019, the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, issued a certificate of return to Senator-elect Yakubo Oseni in Lokoja. And from there to the Senate chambers, where he joined 108 others to take the oath of office to become the official representative of Kogi Central in the Ninth Senate. Thank you.
Since joining the Senate, Oseni vowed never to be a bench warmer, and as such, he has given his people quality representation as well as also representing the interests of Kogi State at large. When we are to talk of human capital development, you meet it in North Central. Agriculture, solid mineral, and the North Central people are minors of repute and uh, if at all we are now set as a nation to industrialize i think the base of uh, nigeria's industrialization lies in north central in no time he demonstrated a capacity to be intuitive driven which culminated in his appointment as the chairman senate committee on ict and cybercrime Beyond that, he has been quite vocal at Senate sessions on national issues and every other thing that the good people of Kogi hold there, including sponsoring bills with immense benefits to the state, especially the ones that seek to establish a steel university in a senatorial district. Regrets that without developing our own steel industry, we will only export all our raw material, all our raw steel at very cheap rates and import finished steel and allied products at exorbitant prices as it is with our oil today. Regret also that Nigeria imports over 2.3 trillion naira of steel and allied products every year. Our own steel industry will therefore be a tangible foreign exchange honor and saver for our fragile economy. concludes that a completed Ajakuta steel plant in no doubt will present a huge benefit to our bid for economic diversification. It will be a huge foreign exchange honor and saver for the country and employment generation thereby help greatly in reducing the current wave of youth unrest, kidnapping and banditry in the country. <laughs> that you are going to do to make sure that this defeats the rate of economic recovery can be faster than what we are having now. Thank you. Mr. President. Uh, Your Excellency the President, Senator Yakubu, request or uh, perhaps um, ask a question as to what I intend to do in terms of ensuring in terms of ensuring speedy recovery of the economy. I think fundamentally the office of the Attorney General has a greater responsibility in ensuring the blockage of uh, leakages associated with the economy and I think that is what this administration has succeeded in doing by way of bringing about the policies that brings about sanity, imprudence, and, uh, and imprudence, and the management of the scarce resources of the country. So it is about the enforcement, and uh, I think the Office of the Attorney General will double effort in ensuring that the leakages associated with economic activities are indeed adequately blocked. A project that's supposed to last for 36 months takes infinity. So, and all these constitute all this uh, accident and diversion. You can, you imagine that a diversion can last for like a year in one particular uh, spot. And 
we have to like look at the situation of the contractors. Are they really paid on time? If they are paid on time, then what happened to the job? And we can also monitor the signage, diversion signage. It has to be a kind of reasonable distance from the point of diversion. And all this has to be in place and has to be monitored by committee on works. And the situation is not only Abuja, Kaduna, Zaria, Kanu Road. It's almost across the nation, particularly Abuja, Elokoja, Okene Road, and the likes. So I think we really need to look at the timing, time frame of any contract giving. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this opportunity. Globally, the mining industry has been a close rival to the petroleum industry. Why Nigeria only earns a paltry sum of $89 million per annum from it. The commercial value of Nigerian solid minerals has been estimated to run into hundreds of billions of dollars. The objective of this bill includes, but not limited to, one, formulation of policies and guidelines for the development of the mineral producing areas. Two, conceptions, planning, and implementation in accordance with set rules and regulations of projects and programs for sustainable development of the minerals producing areas in the field of transportation, including roads, health, employment, industrialization, agri and fisheries, housing and urban development, water supply, electricity and telecommunications. It is worthy of note that the capacity demonstrated by Senator Seni led to his inclusion in six other standing committees, including banking, insurance and other financial institutions, Air Force, solid minerals, capital markets, local content and public procurement. Aside the main task of lawmaking, he has been demonstrating how the oversight responsibility of the average federal lawmaker is important in the quest for nation building. Dr. Seni has also redefined representation in Kogi Central Senatorial District with his numerous constituency projects across the five local government areas he represents. This is also testimony to the quality representation he is delivering to his constituents. And as long as I'm a man, I drive mass in mass. I'm a man. 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 I'm a Thank <laughs> 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 The, the distinguished Senator Husseini has been one of the best Senators that I have met in my lifetime. And there have been quite a number that have gone to Senate. Uh, why do I say this? You can see he's an active man. He covered this central senatorial district very perfectly. I can, he himself, by his own biography, by his own work, he can see how much he has done. But the whole, pe the people are happy with him. From introducing bills, so that set up a doctor, the, the Steel University, is it the Jam uh, Center? 
or the ICT that he had done in various local governments of the of the state of the Central Senatorial District. Perfect gentleman. He listens, he reaches out, and this is what do you what else do you want from a senator who is supposed to be representing people? And you can is reachable. That's the most effective thing. And his people, his aides are actually boys and girls who get to know who these people are and um, we are pleased with him, really pleased with him. And um, if every uh, legislat leg legislator who has represented us can represent us as he has done, there will be no problem at all. Distinguished Senator um, Yakubo Oseni has been well known to me before he even became a senator. As you know, he was in charge of our revenue collection, internal generated revenue collection in Kogi State. At that time, I knew him very well as a very hardworking human being. Uh, God willing, because of his uh, antecedent, he was voted to be the senator in charge of Kogi Central. Uh, since he came into the Senate, a lot has happened. Uh, he has uh, created a lot of enabling environment for learning because uh, he has established an e-learning center in Obangede, which is the headquarter of Okehi Local Government Professional Council. And uh, he's also involved in the renovation of several schools within the uh, local government area. Uh, indeed, we are lucky to have him. He has been very hardworking and forthright. At a point, we had a problem when uh, Sustainable Development Goals gave us uh, help, assisted us with the hospital. He, he assisted in paying for the land that was acquired to build that hospital. In all he's doing, he's people-oriented and he has been having a lot of uh, goodwill from our people. One thing that is so clear is that education is so prominent in what we have done. Most of us go for that because you need to educate the people. He kept his promises. Why, as a senator, he will call you. And even when you call him and he didn't pick, he will never fail to call you back. He is very, very accessible. He is godly, humane, very responsible gentleman, and uh, he loves developing the people. He loves development and nothing but development. And in his determination to ensure that his people feel the direct impact of representation, he has delivered on the computer-based test center in Agasa, named after Governor Yaya Bellu, as well as his insistent school renovation and empowerment programs. Senator Hussein had been a person that is commended since his inception of office. In fact, he had done so many things in numerous. He is it is person that Whenever you complain to him, he will listen to you. He will never ignore you. He, he takes everybody's responsibility to be his responsibility. There was a time, actually, my daughter gained admission to AB Uzaria. In fact, I was stranded. I didn't know what to do. I, I definitely admit, I tested a message to him that my child had admission to AB Uzaria. Actually, he replied me that I should send him my account number. Eventually, this, the second day, he sent me an amount that covered the whole institution in Ibu's area. That my daughter is reading medicine and surgery. I've learned how to do Vaseline, room freshener, and the toll. With the empowerment going to, going to be given to me, I believe I can be able to do something with it. I thank the distinguished senator Alhaji Oseni Yakibu. During his assumption of office as a senator in the Central Senatorial District of Kogi State, he has performed wonderfully beyond expectation, which we all appreciate. Particularly, the establishment of Governor Yabelo Computer-Based Center that can occupy about 600 capacity students. This alone, I'm quite pleased with it because I've encountered a series of journeys when my children are trying to embark on their jump exams. I've once traveled to Auchi, I've once traveled to Kaba. But 
with this establishment now, this has saved us from traveling far. The risk we used to take in the past, I think at our doorstep now, we'll be able to uh, get what we need. So we appreciate his effort so far during his tenure, and we still have more to perform by God's grace, which we are urging him to help us. He has done a lot, but he could still do better than what we are recording right now. I must let you know that he has taught the life of our children in most schools by giving us this digital ICT laboratory as constituency project. Knowing fully well that in the present days, students need this knowledge of ICT. And this ICT lab has provided to most schools, of which my own school is a beneficiary. And standard school at Onikoko is a beneficiary. Rahul's college at Adave is also a beneficiary. Himo Community Secondary School is a beneficiary. And CSS Kuroko is a beneficiary. ESO Gaminana even have a bigger one that... Uh, there are, you just to mention a few. Most schools have been taught and given this... Uh, ICT laboratory, which students are now using to learn because it has e-learning uh, ports too, that our students are leaking on, onto, and the teachers are using, getting some things there to teach our children so that they can actually uh, be better equipped. And the children are also able to use these computers in the laboratory uh, to guide themselves, teach themselves, and do a lot of things. We face a lot of uh, challenges. Some of these challenges include uh, most of our structures were broken down, dilapidated. We called, we cried out, we called on the government, the government in, uh, in the section by then, so there was no response. Even where they, uh, there was, they will come and do, the contractors will come without uh, uh, supervision. They will do uh, whatever they like. And after a while, about two months or three months later, the structure will, uh, will go down again. So, but to God's uh, kind and by God's grace, since the inception of this uh, government of His Excellency Alahaji Yahya Adosa Bello, in fact, we have witnessed a lot of uh, development in this our compound, and. The most impressive is the recent uh, structure constructed by his distinguished uh, uh, senator, Alahaji Yakubu Hosseini. May God be with him. While it is unarguable that Senator Hosseini has had the rare privilege of rubbing shoulders with the high and mighty in the society, one undisputable fact about his personality is that he does not allow that privilege to detach him from the grassroots, let alone being derailed from torching the lives of his constituents. The distinguished Senator Al Haji Yakubu Hosseini, to me, he has changed the narratives of Kogi Central senatorial politics. He replaced destructive elements with constructive and developmental ideas and works. He is a promise keeper, very accessible and godly. I can say he's a good, uh, a, a, a good advocate of good governance and also a good disciple of GYB, that is Governor Yaya Bello. We give thanks to Senator Yakubu Hussein, who has came to the market to dodge a borehole for us that we are making use of today. We really appreciate him and we thank him. But I want to say that he has tried, but one is not enough for the whole market. If we can have even three more, we can extend it because the market is wide enough and is large enough. The one provided only cover an area, which of course the other axes are lacking a water problem. The senator came to empower us by the grace of God. What we learned here today, 
We are going to put it in practice. Not only using it at home, but by the grace of God, we do it and put it in the market that people will buy. And it will be used. At least money will be coming in for us, we the women. We really appreciate the senator. May the Almighty God continue to bless him, lift him up, guide him and his family. No if they were the present state of uh, decay of infrastructure in most schools, our distinguished senator has tried to revitalize and rebuild some decayed infrastructure in most schools. Uh, he has tried a lot, uh, rehabilitating them, even building new structures, a block of two classrooms or a block of uh, three to four classrooms, and rehabilitating some structures all over within this central district. Uh, most schools will tell that principal will tell you that this is unprecedented. And it has not been a common thing. So, which he has done as well. If I'm to digress from an educational aspect, I also let you know on his aspect of empowerment that most people have been taught. There was a time I was invited to a, a program in FCA that people have been trained on how to repair GSM and how to repair handsets. Uh, there, there are many people that have, have, haven't gone through this training. They are giving tool kits and an uh, iPad phone all this and along with certain cash so that they can have it for a takeoff and in that program that day i also counsel and advise the participants that they should please try and endeavor and put these tools into use is oncoming intervention during the COVID-19 pandemic, which coincided with the 2020 Ramadan, is another exercise that has positively counted for him as he embarked on distribution of palliatives to his constituents. There is what we call a, a wealth redistribution in economics. I'm a professional economist. So I really believe in that wealth redistribution because uh, when wealth is concentrated in one place and the other side is, is poor. And uh, I don't see it as living. I'm not surprised that the Senator, Senior Kubu, has done a good job here. I remember vividly when the chairman, uh, Internal Board of Revenue for Kogu State, he performed wonderfully okay. And all of us that are bona fide sons and daughters of the people of Ibrahim here commended him for a good job. So when the governor deemed it necessary to take him, you know, or to take him to go and present us. I'm not surprised. I know it's going to do a good job. Definitely, we may not know what is happening at the headquarters of Abuja, but within the area here, he has done a very good job. And uh, we'll continue to pray for him. In fact, in a very short time, when he came, I said, they want to construct this road. All of us are very, very happy that this man is up to something. And I know this guy is his limit. If every senator, every House of Representatives members, in fact, every governor decide to do a little bit of work, when another person comes, they will follow suit and do the same. Before not is happening, the country will be developing. And I believe by the special grace of God, other people will follow the same suit as he has done. Senator Yakubo Oseni is a blessing to Kumi Central this time around. For my assessment, since 1999, I have never had it this better. He had uh, uh, paid back to the constituency through farmers uh, empowerment, education, and all work. Uh, the youths and the women acknowledge his representation and Particularly, I was privileged to be in the National Assembly some time past. I know the pressure in the oh, National no, Assembly. No, no, no. I am envious of the bill that he has sponsored so far and that has killed and has been passed into law. And uh, we thank God for his representations. And we wish he would have liked to be back there and uh, finish. In the midst of all the accolades and the quality representation he is delivering, the senator is always giving credit to God and his political mentor, Governor Bello. Even though growing one's leadership capacity demands personal determination and commitment, God has placed many personalities on my path to yield my resolve of being a succor to the people. One of such people is the ever determined 
and Tenacious Governor of Kogi State, and I had Yahaya Adrada Belu, whose leadership qualities, style, and achievement have continued to resonate every nook and cranny of this country. Though his abiding faith in me, through his abiding faith in me, he brought me in 2006 to reform the early Kogi State Board of Internal Revenue, and I quickly formed a team of experts in taxation. And we did our modest effort to justify the confidence he reposed in me. And to the glory of Almighty Allah, the story of the Revenue Generating Agency and the State Internally Generated Revenue idea changed for better. My distinguished guest, why many people may depend on Godfathers, Governor Yahya Adorabelu only depends on God, the Father, and that is why he has continued to perform excellently in all sectors of governance. With this, I want to once again commend the man of the moment, the great senator representing Oyi Central for what he has done for his senatorial district. And uh, we are very, very uh, grateful to His Excellency, the Governor. I'm concluding, please. We are very grateful to His Excellency, the Governor, for giving the opportunities to our colleagues to serve with us in the National Assembly. I may not have achieved that for now, but sincerely, no community will be abandoned. For the communities that are yet to feel my impact in terms of uh, infrastructure, I crave your, for your more patience. I equally call on those communities that have benefited one project or the other to take good care of them. I will not relent in my quest to lobby for job opportunities for your, our usual grants to encourage small and medium scale enterprises will still be ongoing. And in recognition to his selfless service to Nigeria and humanity in general, the Senator has been receiving several awards from notable organizations all over the country. Any casual observer of parliamentary activities of the 9th Senate will find it hard to miss Senator Oseni because he has not only been visible but also vocal during Senate sittings and committee functions. This is not lost on the people of Kogi Central who always roll out the drums to give him rousing welcome whenever he is in Okene and any of the communities and towns within the district. with themselves, have taken the training they have gotten from you, from their constituents, the Kogi people, to be very determined people, very honest people, very transparent and accountable people. And we are proud of them. But you know what, Your Excellency? One good time deserves another. We know 
Senator Oseni has done very well and he stands a very good chance. But you know what is good, several people will yearn for. So several people will come out to contest. We just hope that peace and security will reign supreme as we prepare for another election in Nigeria's history. <laughs> There is no gain saying that he has done enough to end the sit. His loyalty to his political leader and the ruling party is also not in doubt. Ah! <laughs>